Mitchell are at the tribe table with us today. Well, thank you for having me. So um, our concept of a tribe table is just the comfortable place where we can have real conversations and um, share our love and knowledge with everybody. Nice. Your love and knowledge with everybody. (laughs) So that is why we're here today, and I'm so glad to have you. And I was really excited to meet you last night at the blue carpet. Yes, I'm glad you reached out. Yes, the energy was awesome. So hectic. (laughs) Yes, yes, it was hectic. And you and we were at the end of the line. So thank you for continuing to have energy because I know. Did everyone else get worn down? No, I think it just. I thought that that was really impressive that everybody just kind of kept going and building and but still had it by the time that they got to us. So it was fantastic. So you have a movie called Rust Creek, which I definitely want to make sure that we talk about um, because that's why you're here at the festival. Mm -hmm. So tell me just briefly what brought Rust Creek to Bentonville Film Festival specifically. What is it about it? Um, So Rust Creek is a suspense drama. Some people are calling it a thriller. I guess it depends on how comfortable you are in these movies. Um, (laughs) About a young woman in her last year of college in Kentucky. She gets an interview, a job interview in DC over Thanksgiving break and she has to drive through Appalachia to get there. And she's on her own and things do not go quite as expected. Mm -hmm. Suspense. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're just going to leave us there, aren't yep. you? You're going to be totally. like, <laughs> have to see the movie. I'm not I'm excited. Good. Good. So one of the other reasons that I, um, you caught my eye um, was that the woman in front of you, Kristen, is um, with women in film. Yes. And she said, well, she's a, women, a woman in film. And I'm like, yay. So um, tell us about women in film because you all are literally a tribe of women that are coming together to support each other and I think especially to support each other through a really big time That's for right. women. So um, what's super interesting too, I think at least, about women in film and mm-hmm. Rust Creek and how it pertains to Bentonville mm-hmm. is they came in with finishing funds on the film. So mm-hmm. women in film supported my film directly and specifically, which is really wonderful. Yeah. And we're super grateful to them for that. Yeah. Um, and Women in Film is a very old organization in the industry mm-hmm. um, that obviously supports women in film. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I think, uh, Kirsten and I were actually talking about this last mm-hmm. night, I think technology um, has really been a big um, uh, catalyst mm-hmm. in the Me Too movement in connecting women because what happens is as you go further along in your career you find that you're the only woman in the room right. and what happens is these these isolated silos of women throughout the industry who yeah. are on their own mm-hmm. thinking that their experiences are singular yeah. and when we connected over the internet over social media over these various ways that we can get connected so quickly yeah. now Um, and sometimes necessarily without men, Mm -hmm. um, we were able to have discussions that led to the Me Too movement. Yeah, and those are the real, raw, and and like you're saying, sometimes without men, and it's simply because sometimes we have to go to a, a place that only another woman can understand yeah, in that and, moment. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, when you have achieved certain things in your life, um, maybe you don't necessarily want to grapple with some of those other things. Yeah. And that's hard. Um, and I think, um, you know, Rose McGowan was the loudest and adamant voice on this topic. And I really give her a lot of credit because it took a lot of bravery to do what she did. Yes. And yes. I would say her and the first, you know, five or ten women who came directly after her, mm-hmm. Those were the risks. Those were the women who take who took the biggest risks, yeah. and I really um, applaud them. Great, yeah. great, grateful, very grateful to them. I agree with that. What do you think are some of the? Um, I mean, maybe it's too early to talk about the bigger, broader lessons that that we've learned with the Me Too movement. Obviously, um, you know. You know what I think. Um, I've kind of always thought this, but this um, watching this has reinforced it to me. If you ever feel like you're not supposed to talk about something, I think you should ask whose interest is it in that you keep your mouth shut. Exactly. Um, because it's normally not in your own. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and there's power in speaking and there's power in connecting, mm -hmm. particularly if you're of a group that is underrepresented. And that group can change depending okay. on where you are in the world and what industry you're in. Mm -hmm. It's not always women. Mm -hmm. It's not always, um, you know, people of color, although it usually is. Mm -hmm. um, whatever the underrepresented group is, you need to connect with other people who are yeah. similar to you and, and find, and your your tri stories. find your tribe yeah, and find share your, your tribe. story. I love it. I love it. And you have another um, organization. You have something else going on. I do. That is complimentary. So I do, yes. It, and I like that, that you phrase it in that way because I do see it as complimentary. It is. Um, and um, I kind of see this particular issue that we're tackling now as so huge mm -hmm. that it's an opportunity for us all to get involved yes. in our own way. Yes. You know, some people are comfortable being very publicly vocal, others mm -hmm. are not. Mm -hmm. Some people are comfortable or able to give money to causes, others are not, and that's okay. We that's all have to find point. our way. Um, the thing that I work on is something called Film Powered. Mm -hmm. um, the website is www.filmpowered.com. And it's an organization um, which is a community, basically, of mid-career and above women in the industry. Because mm -hmm. like I was saying earlier, as you get further along in your career, you get more and more isolated. Yeah. Um, and that's what I was noticing, and that's what I wanted to address very specifically in a targeted fashion. There's lots of things for new filmmakers. There's mm -hmm. lots of support for young filmmakers. But what Still. about those of us who... Stuck it out. Stuck it out <laughs> yeah. and held on and yeah. want to sustain yeah. and have sustained and now let's help them thrive. Yes. Um, yes. And succeed, not just hang on. Yeah. Um, so what it is at the moment is a very quickly growing community of over 1,600 women wow. across the industry. So it's not just writers, it's not just directors, mm -hmm. there's executives, agents, lawyers, um, Film programmers, um, critics, so many roles. Teamsters, everyone yeah. across the board. And the organization is there to increase networking, to increase connections. There's peer to peer classes, social events, and job postings. Amazing. Thank you. That's wonderful. So um, you were inspired to do that. Yes. Inspired to build a complimentary community, yeah. inspired to, to do all that. So how's it? you're at 1600. Yeah. And everybody can find it at the website. It's on the website, but everything happens in life, yeah. in real life, because I think it's so important to, to get, get with people, yes. connect, look one another in the eye. I don't hire people. I don't recommend it. I don't refer people I don't know yeah. because there's too much at risk. Yeah. And I need to know more women in so that when I am asked they're the first person I think of I love that. Um, and it's all free um, because I you know depending on the ethnicity of the woman mm -hmm. she's making anywhere between 34 cents to 85 cents on a dollar to a white man yeah. and I'm not gonna charge them something that helps fix that good that's amazing thank that's you good where do you hope that it's going to go you just want it to grow in numbers I want it to grow in numbers mm -hmm. um, I want to sustain the quality of members that's incredibly important to mm -hmm. me um, we just um, opened I mean it's open anywhere in the world but we're really making headway in Canada right now Canadians okay. can join okay. through so in order to join you have to be a member of another qualifying organization that's how we maintain the quality of the members in Canada, you can join by either being a member of IATSE, mm -hmm. a member of the Directors Guild of Canada, Writers Guild of Canada, or a voting member of the Canadian Academy. Okay. And it's and this is worldwide. So it you is have indeed. Some different yeah. Yeah. parameters for everybody wherever they are. Yeah, that's right. So you know, if you're a filmmaker, yeah. woman filmmaker in New Zealand mm -hmm. and you have a meeting in Los Angeles, yes. you can reach out to your community and see people in person and have support and know that there's people rooting for you. That is wonderful. I love yeah. it. All right, so what do you hope for here at the festival with your film? I'm sure that this is not the only festival on your circuit. Um, this is our first, it's though. It's your first. Yeah. Good. Yeah, well, this is our first. Um, I hope audiences enjoy the film. I hope we get a sold out theater. Mm -hmm. That's important. Mm -hmm. And I hope audiences enjoy the film and come and talk to me and the other um, people involved in the movie afterwards and let us know what they think. So as a woman um, doing this film, having a, a heroine, a, a woman that's, um, that's the, uh, the lead and character, mm. 
How do you think that that made it a different film, especially in the suspense genre, don't you think? I mean, it's definitely... How do you think that that made a difference? Um, how did it make it different? Uh, I mean, I will say that I think as soon as you come from a different perspective that is not the standard straight white male perspective, you're going to have a different story in front of you. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a different lens. You're going to have a different perspective. Um, I happen to think it's subtle, mm -hmm. but in storytelling, subtlety is very important. And powerful. There's a huge difference between a good film and a great film, yeah. and it comes down to subtlety of vision, and that's why we need lots of diverse voices. Yeah. Well, thank you for fostering the diverse voices. Thank you for building tribes of women, really, is thank, what you're doing. <laughs> thank, thank you for recognizing that. Absolutely. And, and for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity to talk about my work. We love it. And so everyone will go to your website and we will um, go watch the film. Hopefully it will it will do something amazing through your I festival so. circuit. I hope so. And be able to find it. I know we found films on you know Netflix and Hulu sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you can actually go see it in a theater. So. Yeah. So my first film, Kelly and Cal, yeah. is still out there and on Good. digital. And Good. then we hope we'll find a great release for this one as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I totally. Love this. I love this. This is great. Sometimes I need to unplug. Sometimes I've got to reboot. Sometimes I just want to sleep. But I always want to connect with you. Get into Brew Moods, aromatherapy lotions powered by a mindfulness app.